Hi, this is a Yesterday's Moose production, and we're back with Sheep Raider for PlayStation 1. As you can see, we have rescued all of the sheep. Or have we caught all of the sheep? Either way, we are done. No more sheep. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to check out the bonuses right here. Bonus. We have 17 points. I'm going to just go ahead and uh, purchase these. Once I'm done purchasing these, That's it, I believe. All of the points have been used up. Some of them, however, like this, bonus number seven is uh, a tip on how to access the hidden level. So let's just go through them one by one, shall we? Bonus one, picture, character, sketch. Looks like we have a picture with Elmer Fudd, Marvin the Martian, his dog, whose name I can't remember, those weird alien Martian bird things, and Ralph Wolf with various Acme items, including a fishing pole, a rocket, the sheep costume, the mini umbrella, and uh, a fan, and an anvil. Next one is obviously Ralph Wolf with a fishing pole. Rocket strapped to his back. There's the mini umbrella. There he is disarming a mine. Ship. Sheep costume. I can talk. There's the ghost costume bit more detail there's one of the ghosts there's the sheep going after the sheep perfume or perhaps sheep pheromones There's the dragon with the time chronometer. There's the dragon again. Got some sort of contraption here. And the writing appears to be French. Uh, little catapults, I think it says. I shouldn't even try to read French. Technically, I should know it, but I don't. There's the robot. Fishing pole. It's uh, those pipes from that uh, stage with the cannons. Mm. 
These are the uh, miniaturizers. There's the fan, an anvil, looks like a magnet, and a hammer. The water tower for the miniaturized m Martians. The train. Gumball machine, which I guess is the instant miniaturized Martian machine. Rocket ship. I didn't realize how many pictures there were or sketches. Daffy Duck in an uh, armor. Daffy Duck in his zoot suit. Another one with Daffy Duck. Daffy Duck in a ballerina costume. And that's it. Background sketches. Bonus number two. These ones have a lot more stuff going on. By the way, if it's not obvious in the video, I can still hear Ralph Wolf moving around in the audio. There's Sam Sheepdog in some area that we never get to visit. Another area. An area that we do see eventually. Snowy landscape with Porky Pig on the lower right hand side there. Roadrunner area. Trees with sheep. Oh, I remember that level. But Yosemite Sam was not in that level. But he does appear in the lower right hand side of the screen there. looks like a lava level, but then there's Marvin the Martian on the lower left hand side. More lava level. I like the way this looks, the concept art. That's cool. This is the swamp level, I guess. Looks like a town, a city. Daffy Duck there on the lower right hand side. Oh, uh, this level looks a little bit different than the concept art. And there we have Gossamer. 
I just watched the animation where I think Gossamer first appears, and I think he has a different name that I can't remember. It's the one called Water Water Every Hair, I believe, where the rabbit meets the evil scientist, Bugs Bunny meets the evil scientist. And he breaks open a bottle of ether and then starts walking really slow. There's a castle area. Daffy Duck in a uh, some sort of army uniform. One of the earlier levels, except this uh, seems to be taking place at night. The hedge maze with Elmer Fudd. Now that would be interesting. A recreation of The Shining with Elmer Fudd as uh, Jack Nicholson's character. Oh, look at no play. Make Jack a dull boy. <laughs> yeah, that's a really horrible impression of Elmer Fudd. I can't do a good Elmer Fudd voice. Here's a good, uh, I like this sketch of the ship. That's cool. And it looks like that's it for the backgrounds. A lot of sketches. Here's bonus three storyboards. That looks like the first level. Or at least one of the first levels. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Uh, it's telling a story, I guess. It's a storyboard. Well, duh! Pretty sure these are very self-explanatory. Well, that doesn't look good, does it? Looks like he's about to fall. But somehow he blasts off. Well, that definitely didn't take place in that particular level. But maybe this is like fast forwarding through different levels. Or storyboards from multiple levels. I like the way the sheep looks very crazed. Well, that was fun. 
Bonus for picture backgrounds and characters. These look like the polygonal models for the characters. Different versions of Ralph Wolf. One where he's obviously getting hit by a lightning bolt. I don't remember that happening in the game. And that definitely didn't happen in the game, but that's kind of funny. Looks like the sheep are balloons about to carry Sam off. Couple different versions of Daffy Duck and his polygonal model. And the train. dragon fire breathing Ralph Wolf and uh, Yosemite Sam on a crocodile Marvin the Martian and his dog Spot? I don't know it probably has some weird name that I can't remember I'll look it up and then put it on the screen now. Oh, that's what its name is. Elmer Fudd and Daffy Duck doing some sort of defensive maneuver, possibly Tai Chi. I guess he's trying to sneak away because it's duck season. The bull Toro and Gossamer. Porky Pig feeding sheep some lettuce. That city again, at least this time it's uh, in focus. I guess maybe that's Ralph Wolf's house? It's definitely a mailbox there. bunch of different backgrounds from various levels. More backgrounds. These ones look like screenshots from within the game. More levels. Even more levels. It's a little bit jumbled, I must admit. Now this is Planet X and the Martians there, the bird Martians. Kind of look like the dodo, dodo bird. So what else do we got? Behind the scenes. Oh, here's some people who made the game. 
There's the producer. Caribou hunter. All right. This is kind of weird having these mug shots. Roaming product manager. It's kind of hard to read that one. I can't really read that one either, but he has a sheep on his shoulder, I think. Also, it's notable that the uh, the height chart in the background is in metric. So he's a little over 180 centimeters tall, which is almost two meters tall. Which would make him, I don't know, close to six feet something, maybe. I'm bad at conversion. Bad wave designer. I can read that. Wonderful art manager. Wonderful 3D animator. Volley master animator. The dude, like from that movie, Panel Master, Psychopathic Artist, the dude was a character in The Big Lebowski. I know that much. PC Shark. Uh, yeah. Uh, I can't really read what that says. Sam. All right, that's very obvious. Q3 server. Flying. And I'm thinking that's a swear word, possibly. Because that X looks like it was edited on top of the picture. Q3 server killer. Zoman? 206 man? Something like that. Invisible programmer. Programmateur. Invisible programmer again. Picture into storyboard. Forgot to see how many of these there were. Oh, okay, this is the uh, storyboard for the introduction. At the very start of the game. Mm 
Well, that's it for that. Access to or er, bonus seven tip to access hidden autumn level. I can read. To access hidden autumn level, go into the autumn hall. Here you'll have to jump inside the dark side of the black wall, then follow the path until you see a level's door. Well, we already found that. Bonus 8. Tip to access hidden past present level. To access hidden past present level, you'll have to enter the past presence level store from the other side. I think that's a pretty creative way of having a uh, hidden level. And that's it for all of the bonuses and for some reason it saves again. So this was my bonus video and I also want to point out that uh, in order to get here after uh, the last level you have to exit out of the very last stage uh, which with my upload schedule should be the next video after this one. Anyways when you exit out of that level it, uh, the game forces you to have to go to the 14th level and finish it all over again in order to get the cutscene and enter the final level uh, yet again. Once you're here, you're actually trapped in the studio and yes, you can replay the levels, but there's absolutely no way to get back to Planet X, which I find really, really silly. It should have some way of getting back there. Uh, that's kind of a critical flaw. I might mention that again uh, when I record the next level, but in case I forget, I wanted to uh, have it mentioned at some point in time. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So thank you very much for watching. This has been a Yesterday's Moves production, and I'll see you next time!